Hey guys, um, this is a one. There is like there is this, this um update to eight point zero zero, but um, I've been some changes that need to be made here. And uh, first, we need to put in some custom themes. Um, what is it here? Um, this is like those are the games I have here. But first, we need to have custom um. Custom themes here because I like to because I like to be able to put an, um, you know a fall theme during like the fall and maybe some Christmas areas yeah we can ha yeah we do have that in the 3ds why don't we have that in um, why don't why don't we have that on the switch um, so anyway but there's one thing that we need to have. You see, you'll notice that um, we have this here, but look at this. this is a we need folders, Nintendo. Um, I mean, yeah, we got options here. Um, so yeah, we've got transfer your saved data, like um, archive, like like this here. Uh, of course, we have the data here, like that here. But there is, but, the, but, um, yeah, we can, but, the, but there is, yeah, you can be able to, um, sort the software, like, but there's only by, like, last played or total play time or it just, but, or, or by title here. But we really need to have is I need to, we need folders, all right? We had the Switch for two years. Uh, this 3DS, I've had it for eight years. All right, let me show you. And yes, my 3DS still works. I'm gonna, gonna show you right now. It's booting up. A lot of these games, I they were like on sale, and uh, many of them I like I paid about less than a dollar each. Um, this game was just, just one of these stupid games, but I paid like nine cents for this game. All right, here we are here um, with my 3DS. Um, Look what we have here for 3DS. Look at these things. Folders. See, I... You know, the arcade archives in this one, um, of course, they kind of group it together here. But look how organized this thing is. I have, um... This is like applications, but this is like retro 8 or 16-bit. Like, if I want to play, like, uh... NES games here. I can just go to retro 8-bit or like an 8-bit style retro games here. Um, these are... Like, yeah. Well, yeah, we have about um, this here, but it's like an 8-bit style um, retro games here. AVGN game like that here. Um... But we have, this is, these are retail games, um, like we've got Yoshi's, um, Woolly World, we got Dragon Quest games, Mario Maker, and Harvest Moon, um, yeah, that's a, a retro game here, we got Super Smash Brothers. Splinter Cell, and the Raymond games, Kirby's Triple Deluxe, Mario and Luigi, yeah. Now we're on the Switch. This is a system that's a really newer system. Where are the folders, Nintendo? This is a mess. So yeah, it's now uh, it's now updated to eight point zero, um, but Nintendo we need folders, 
the other thing that we have to the other thing that we have to do it here you see how these um things here we we see how this little icon here that says the empty or the full ones here that shows us that the um, the games have bought physical um the other scrolls uh, this one I bought physical because I don't know why um, that yeah it costs like fifty or sixty bucks um, to buy two games which is Pac Man versus and um, uh, like Pac Man plus whatever it is plus Namco Museum um, so I had to buy that physical um, but the other thing is that. Um, when you have games that are, like, bought these physicals, um, you have Mario Tennis Aces. All right, I play a little bit of here. Now, I'm going to remove the cartridge up on the top. When you remove a cartridge, the icon stays, although this right now becomes a, it becomes a uh, empty, uh, like, like that here. I think that when you remove a cartridge, this should disappear altogether. Because in a sea of mess, like, but, uh, but also when you, um, now, the other thing on the game, on, on the handheld here, on the 3DS, which is, I like it about this here, um, there's a separate icon in the beginning, like, you know, Mario Tennis Open. Watch what happens when I remove the um, DS cartridge from the thing. stuck in there but this cartridge this 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 cartridge actually uh this icon actually disappears whenever you remove a uh, cartridge actually this mario tennis opens here there we go uh oh there there, there we go now i have the cartridge removed look at this now it's a completely empty thing why don't we have this with a switch? Yeah, you remove the cartridge in the switch version, but the icon doesn't disappear. So the two things that we need to have is, for one thing, for physical games, games like this should only appear on the firmware if the cartridge is inserted in the system. If not, it should go off the uh, things. Um, there should be a separate icons of history of games played. Um, so therefore, I mean, um, so yeah, this. So therefore, um, I mean, you can go here, but I think the interface should be around like how the um, 3DS is here. You have, um, I'm like, you notice how there you have the eShop here. That's a little better because it's right now at the bottom of the things. But the folders, we need folders, all right? And, uh, but but also things is when I come in, when I um, go into the folder, um, See, all these games are digital downloads, right? I don't have to worry about, oh, I want to play this game. Oh, um, I don't have the cartridge in there, even though the thing is on the thing here. Um, so, yeah, it's basically what I need coming in. Right now, um, there's there's nothing inserted in the game, part, but, it, but notice how it's a blank here. 
They should need that they should make a separate separate space for physical games. Like you know how it's blank. Um, I have the game out, but when I put it put it but when I put it in. It comes up, but when you eject it again, but when you but when you eject the game, it comes out. Um, it should have been like that on the on the um, Nintendo Switch. So this is what I have to say, um, JD out, and uh, yeah.